Coming to you from an undisclosed location somewhere deep in the heart of the Santa Monica Mountains, I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. This is a very special, uh, we're not doing a lot of these, but because of what's going on over in the Middle East, I've decided to keep doing them. A very special edition of Politics, Prophecy, and the Supernatural Report. Our lead story here, Yemen's Houthis will not stop Red Sea attacks until Israel ends the Gaza war. We'll get into that, but first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Excess belly fat has been deemed the most dangerous fat of them all as it's linked to so many health issues. The reason being, excess belly fat grows deep in the abdominal cavity and puts pressure on some of the body's most vital organs. That's one of the reasons why myself, along with so many people, are beginning to turn to this amazing new substance, which is thoughtfully formulated with science-backed ingredients that promote reduced fat storage, help to speed up the breakdown of fat, support weight management, reduce cravings, and boost metabolism. Folks, the best part I love is that you can get 51% off for the rest of the month or until they sell out, whichever comes first. Get yours now by going to trimwithla.com. Once again, that's trimwithla.com, trimwithla.com. I'm going to give this 30 days. I'll report back to you, and we'll see what it does. This book was written in 2015. I just had a friend of mine, uh, Ted, shoot me an email and said, my gosh, L.A., I just got this book and picked it up. It's like everything you wrote about is happening right now. Folks, I'm not a prophet. I don't pretend to be a prophet. I'm just a watchman, just, you know, here trying to do what I'm supposed to do for the Lord. But we are in the birth pangs. We are not in the tribulation. We are in the birth pangs, and they are rapidly increasing. This book, Days of Chaos, is available. It is now, I would say it's a must read. It's been sitting on the shelf. I haven't really been talking about it, but everything I'm about to say, I was talking about in 2015. And we're here now. This is why this book is so relevant. Anyway, folks, Yemen's Houthis will not stop Red Sea attacks until Israel ends Gaza war. This is what I want to talk about. And it's, it's up here on camera, too. You can see that there's two waterways here. One, of course, is the Red Sea. And we see down in, in the south here, we see Yemen. And we know that Yemen has declared war against Israel. We know that. That's a fact. So what's amazing is we talked about a lot of this in Days of Chaos. So you've got the Strait of Tears at the very bottom there. You can see that narrow area. It's called the Strait of Tears. So in the Persian Gulf, the Strait is called the Strait of Hormuz. This is what alarms me, because going back to slide number one here, the Houthis will not stop Red Sea attacks. Well, I mean, they don't have anything. I mean, who are we kidding? Um, they can be blown out of the water by the United States, or can they? And that's what we're going to delve into here. So you've got the Red Sea, the, the Strait of Tears, and you've got uh, the Strait of Hormuz up above in the, in the Persian Gulf. About 70% of the world's oil comes through those two checkpoints. This is a scenario I discussed years ago. I pray to God that it's not happening, um, but who knows at this point? We are in the Wild West, as it were. Anything goes. It's, it amazes me that we're looking at the nascent beginnings of what might become World War III. Let's hope cool heads prevail, cooler heads prevail. Let's hope it doesn't escalate. But, you know, prophecy is there. And prophecy was written thousands of years ago, specifically talking about the Ezekiel 38 war, the Psalm 83 conflict. I mean, we're here. We're in an area that's... Uh, a window of time that I find alarming. Here's a scenario, and this is, again, it's complete conjecture on my part, but it's something that I discussed years ago, and now, once again, um, the Houthis are, threat are threatening to basically close the Strait of Tears. And the Iranians are looking at the Strait of Hormuz, and you remember on the Iran side of the border, it's bristled. It is bristled with missiles and all sorts of stuff. Here's a scenario. We know that Iran has the capability of a nuclear device. Do they have a delivery system? We don't know. Do they have nuclear material? We don't know. But let's say 
for uh, just the sake of, of this discussion, that they do have all that. What would it take to create a dirty bomb? What, what if they bought on the black market dirty bombs? And I talk about this in Days of Chaos. Suitcase nukes. All they need to do is, get a, a, is create a blockade of ships, string them all together in, the, in both the, 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 Strait of, um, the Strait of Hormuz and, and, and the Gate of Tears, the Strait of Tears um, in the Red Sea. And it's a game changer. If you were to take a nuclear device just a dirty bomb, and blow it in either of those two places, or both of those two places, you're essentially going to shut down 70% of the world's oil. And that, my friend, oil is the lifeblood of this planet. That is a game changer. This is something that I've been looking at, and I wrote about it in Days of Chaos. I, I am alarmed. Uh, that's all I'll say. I, I am alarmed at what I see. And the fact that we are talking about all of this at the end of 2023 is incredibly alarming. So what was written uh, in 2015, published by our company, Spiral of Life, in 2015, it's beginning to happen. The book is a must read. We've got it on our website, lamarzuli.net, lamarzuli.net. Roswell 1 and Roswell 2. We will not be able to deliver these for Christmas. If you have ordered them, um, there will be a private link on our streaming channel for about a week, maybe two weeks, so you can watch them there. Then we'll put the streaming link on. It'll be available for everyone. Uh, these two films may be the best films we've ever done. I want to thank my, my business partner, Gil Zimmerman. Uh, we, we've worked together. We uh, directed and edited and produced these films where we are now kind of joined at the camp. We found our, 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 our pace, uh, our, our, the way of working together, and I'm just excited to be working with Gil. Number nine is uh, right over there in the edit suite, and hopefully that will be finished by year's end, but we will not release it until the end of January. And that film is called What is the Truth? These are what some of the folks have been saying about uh, Roswell Part 1 that have seen it. L.A., this is the best I have seen. I love the testimonies. That's from Everett. This is from Matt Brunet. It's the best overall picture that tells the true story about Roswell. Tony M. finished up the movie last night. It's quite compelling for sure. And hopefully will nudge the government to accelerate disclosure. The film itself is beautifully woven together. Great editing and pristine quality. Should certainly be on Netflix. Why not? Can't wait for part two. This is from uh, Vicki Joy Anderson. Great film, L.A. and Gill. Talk about credible eyewitness testimony. This is from Mike H. Just watched the video. In my opinion, one of the best yet. Congrats to you and Gill. And this is from Doris. Wow, just finished Roswell Revisited. Phenomenal investigation. L.A. Marzulli.net, L.A. Marzulli.net. At this moment, we've got six films that you can actually watch on our streaming and seven and eight, which is the Roswell, you can still pre-order. And if you pre-order before Christmas, we will still um, get them up on our streaming site. And much of what I wrote in the book is coming to pass even now. Days of chaos. You'll want to get yourself a copy. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. These are the days of chaos. I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Late this afternoon, a bulletin from New Mexico suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange disks had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. 
The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Roswell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs which landed on a ranch outside Roswell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. Brizel was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Roswell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looks like.